Hey, I want to level. Like an actual level. Come back to me, Gato. I'm not seeing a kid. Whoa, what the? Why is that making a noise? Oh! Thanks a lot, my mister. I didn't know it would make a time in the hada 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 hide in here. There's still more of them hiding in the, in the rooms. You gotta help them, mister. I actually have a choice. Yes, it's going to be okay. Gee, thanks, mister. Here, take this. Rainbow shell. Oh my god, there's another... Goodness, they're everywhere. Whoa, 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 hey! Are you here to save us, mister? Yes, leave it to me. Really? Wow, but I don't even know you. To put out the flames, you ought to try using Luca's ice gun invention. Sis said she keeps it on the wall in her room, up on the second floor. Thank you, kid. the right spot. Just gonna see if I can find a kid. Circle stands for zero. Square stands for D. Triangle stands for A. Cross stands for X. Using this for example, the children will never guess road is spelt circle, triangle, square. R circle, triangle, square. My father, Taban, would be proud, not to mention my mother, of course. Huh. I don't know what in the world that's used for, though. I, I like how he said, uh... She said, a new code for a new generation, because, like... We're using a new controller now instead of a SNES controller, so she had to make a new code for, to like match the letters. In case of fire, use this ice gun. Not for children under 12 or the mechanically challenged. Uh oh, may or may not be mechanically challenged here. I don't think I can put out that fire because it's not like in front of me. Go home. Cannot use. Are there any kids hiding in here? No. Use the ice gun. I was hoping I could freeze the lava boy. <laughs> so I didn't have to fight him. but fighting these guys is so annoying. They don't even, like, do any damage, and I'm just sitting here, like, waiting for them to do their stupid long attack.
I switched the other target because I wanted to use Luminaire to take them both out to make it faster. And the other one had already used up his turn, so there's no need to attack him. Aye! Wait, maybe I should go that way. Put out the fire. Isn't that the same? That's the same fire, though. I could just go this way. You left your glasses. I can't see without my glasses. It's burning. Our home is burning. Luca, all my friends, they're, they're... Why? Why did this happen? You. Are you going to go away? Are you going to leave me? I'm going to be left all on my own again, aren't I? Everybody I've ever loved has gone far, far away. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. I won't leave you. Really? Do you mean that? No, not really, because like, this Chrono Cross thing probably going to turn off in any second. Your cheek. It's wet. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Will I... Will I ever see you again? Yep, yep, there it is. What? Where did you go? No, come back! Don't leave me. Please, no, don't leave me all alone. Surge, how have you been? I'm right here. Ba 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 ba. Thank goodness, this must be the power of Surge's love. Ho ho ho! I'm Santa now. Ah oh, yes, kid. Lucia is waiting for you in her lab in Viper Manor. She wanted to give you something. Anyway, there's no rush. I suggest you rest here for the day. No rush. Yeah, that's fine. It's just like a dragon flying around, like, trying to, like, destroy time or something. Who knows? Take our time. What? My wound! Link stabbed me? What are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Not again. I lose my memories sometimes. Whenever I'm in a dangerous situation where I might get hurt, I just seem to disappear and vanish. And when I come to, I wake up somewhere safe without a single scratch. But the thing is, I can't remember what happened. I don't get it. 
Anyway, it's happened to me plenty of times in the past, so it's nothing to worry about. Come on, mate, let's go. Whenever she's about to... Whenever she's in danger, she disappears and reappears somewhere else. That almost sounds like she's... Like... Either she's so important that, like... Some kind of higher power is, like, making sure she doesn't die. Or... Fate was intervening? But I don't think fate can intervene like that. Not anymore. Or she's just blacking out and getting really lucky. <laughs> Could also be that. Uh... So Don't tell me this is closed. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Some of the doors in this game, you gotta be staying like right in the right spot, it's annoying. <laughs> Open your own door, Dradell. Come on now. going so I think it's up here but she said her lab I think the lab was like wasn't it lower wasn't it like down in the dungeon What's up, Easy? Does this plant do anything for us? No. It's over there. Wait this way. Wait that way. I doubt there's anything back here. No, I think it's, uh, I think it's down in the basement. But it doesn't hurt to check all these rooms. See if there's something I missed. Miss Riddell, you're safe! You dang right I'm safe. What's up, Roderick? You can have my soul if you want. According to this game, we can just create new ones in the future, so... Don't need it. I do not think this is the right way either. This is to the library. We can talk to the old man that knows everything. Hey! How's it going? The poor soldiers have withdrawn from Viper Manor. What do you plan to do now? Well, you're still talking like ancient stuff that we don't care about. That was like a million years ago, Grandpa. This goes. Uh, this is new. The heck is this? 
I was just thinking to myself, I think this, this area was always blocked off. So... I've never been able to come here until now. Well, I might have been able to come here earlier and just didn't know it. Alright. <laughs> Played. Hey, this is where I wanted to go anyways. One of these doors was the lab, I think. This is the barracks. I'm trying to remember, we got captured that one time and put in the lab, didn't we? Or is that a different lab? This is the cafeteria. That goes down to the sewers. This goes up to the main floor. Is this it? No, this is... Norris. Norris's room. Why is this locked? I obviously don't have the key, right? Must be away. Explosive. <laughs> Why isn't the explosive the answer to everything? That's what I really want to know. Why can't I just open everything with explosive? I can't get away. get there eventually looks like you can push it thanks looks like you can shut up oh god that's a trap there it is see I knew it was down here what the heck is that There is something I want to give kid. Please bring kid here. Oh, I have to give her in my party. Stupid. Uh, there was a save point like somewhere. Taking all your goods. Hero shield. How do I even equip a shield? Accessory, I guess. One part of the three-piece heroes collection. Ooh. Well, that sounds cool. Speaking of cool... Oh yeah, look at her magic stat now. 31, she's ready to blow everybody up. Um, what's down here? 
Isn't this the sewer? Yeah. Ah, I knew there was a save point close. What's in here? I forget. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is a giant side quest for kid that has nothing, like, no bearing on the actual plot. But, uh... Here we go! I have been waiting, kid. There is something I want to give you. Huh? Me? I was told to give it to you when the time was right. It's for you. From Luca. You knew Luca? Yes, our names are almost the same. Here. My dear kid, how are you doing? I wonder how old you are as you read this letter. Perhaps you've matured into a beautiful woman, raising a happy family by now. Not really. I was hoping to talk to you in person when we were old enough, but just in case something happens, I'm writing my feelings down on paper and leaving it with Lucia. Perhaps you already know, or perhaps you yourself are also now caught up in some historic crisis as a result of all this, but anyway. A long time ago, we, my friends and I, that is, changed the future in order to save our planet from being devoured by Lavos, a monster from some unknown planet. See, like, how could you... I'm sorry to go back to this, but like, how, how could you not call this a sequel when... The events of this game are directly, like, directly, not just related, but affected by the events of the previous game. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be one thing if, like, Chrono Trigger happened, and then Chrono Cross happened completely separate, but, like, the stuff that happened in Chrono Trigger, and the characters that were in Chrono Trigger, are directly influencing the characters of this game. So, in that way, i totally call it a sequel. We still feel proud of the role we played in saving our world and how we were so freely able to change the flow of time. But sometimes I think of the darker side of what we did, what has become of the future that was once supposed to have existed. Where did the time that now is no longer allowed to exist go? It is true that, thanks to our altering the flow of history, we were able to save so many lives and present so much sadness and suffering. When you think of it, we also caused the deaths of so many that were meant to have come into existence in the timeline we destroyed, and also caused new sadness and suffering further along in the new future we created. That is why I worry that someone might seek revenge on us for what we did. I have had a constant dread in my heart that someone in our new future will travel back in time just like we did and try to kill or capture my friends and me. Oh, no, she was right. So even if something dreadful does befall me, kid, know that what has meant was meant to happen will happen and that I was always prepared for the worst. Oh, but don't you dare think the great Luca is going down without a fight. I've got a reputation to uphold. Whatever lies waiting for us around the next corner better watch out because it's going to find a pretty mean counterattack coming its way. Man, that's... This is so confusing. If... Luca and crew changed the future then how could someone from the changed future then go back to the past and kill Luca and if they did wouldn't that change the future wouldn't that mean that the world we're in right now would have been destroyed by Lavos how does any of this make sense kid when I think of you I remember someone I once met a long long time ago in the distant past ha <laughs> But she was the complete opposite of you, of the you in this timeline, so quiet and gentle. Someday I'll also tell you about her, when you are ready to know of your real name and heritage. I'm not the slightest bit worried about you, kid. I know that no matter what happens, he will always be there looking out for you. 
Or perhaps he has already found you and is there by your side as you read this. If so, hello, Janice. Please take good care of my little sister for me. There is so much more I want to tell you, but I must leave it for another time. Don't worry. Everything is okay. We will overcome whatever woes may occur. That's for certain. Later, when you're all grown up, I'll come visit you and we'll take over tea. I look forward to that day. Oh, talk over tea. <laughs> I thought it said take over tea. I was like, what does that mean? Well, anyway, kid, until we meet again. Forever and ever your friend, no matter which timeline it is. Yours sincerely, Luke Ashtier. P.S. Cut out the tomboy act. Believe me, you'll become a beautiful young lady one day, or my name isn't Luca the Great. Sorry, but I'd like to be alone for a while. Alright, see ya. <laughs> that was like instant. I can't believe you, sis. You're the one who always laughed about there's nothing definite or certain in this world. Sis. I've gotten three rainbow shells now. I feel like all three rainbow shells were like side things I didn't have to do and then together I could make like the rainbow or something. Yeah, I feel like all that was completely side questy. But hey, it was cool. I enjoyed it. Question is, where the heck am I supposed to go? If I can make the rainbow, I wonder who the heck makes it. I have three rainbow shells, but only... Well, I, well, wait, maybe just my boy can make it. That's a negative. You still make nothing but trash. All right. Now what? I've got it. Aliens. I mean, basically they were like, we got to get up there, but how? And then that was, that was that. Yeah, this game requires that you remember a lot of stuff, which is bad for me because A, I don't have the greatest memory in the world, and B, I play this game only once a week for four hours. And so I forget a lot over that time. I mean, I remember the general gist of things, but I'm not going to remember like a certain thing an NPC said at the beginning of the game because that was literally like four weeks ago. I'm trying to think if anyone ever said anything about like a plane or anything, like that would even give me like the slightest clue as to where to go. Yeah, I know. That's why sometimes I ask chat to, like, remind me of stuff that I've already heard that I've just forgotten. But at the moment, I'm trying to think if I could remember anything myself. I suppose one thing I could do is go here, because she seems to normally tell me stuff when I'm stuck.
Anything to tell me? May the blessing of the goddess of fate be upon the children of the planet. Yeah, the goddess of fate's dead, dude. Fate's gone. Yeah, that was very unhelpful. <laughs> None of the characters have any idea what's going on. I will always become the wind. The issue with this game that I, I seem to keep running into is that, like, you have to revisit places that you've already done stuff in, you know? Like, sometimes you have to revisit a place that you feel like you've finished. But, like, nope, there was something else there, you know? So right now, it's like, I could, the sky's the limit right now. Literally anywhere could be where I have to go. And it could be an either world also. So... That's where it gets, like... Confusing. looking around trying to think of any of the conversations I've had with anyone that had to do with like planes or anything what about Termina there's supposed to be that festival that was supposed to happen like a million different times is it finally happening No trespassing. <laughs> no, I don't think this is helping. Yeah, I can't imagine ripping out a piercing. That's gotta hurt. I don't have any piercings, so I can't relate. <laughs> These people are rude. Before I forget... Let's get my boy back in the party. think if the Chrono Cross could be used for anything else maybe but like I, I don't know I don't even know what the Chrono Cross is let alone what I could use it for what if I went to homeworld and went to my grave and like brought myself back to life and then there was two surges and then the first surge threw the second surge up to the temple That could work. I feel like this is a solid plan. Hundred percent. That is exactly what you do. I 
I don't remember that cutscene. Well, you're about to see it. Unfortunate that you missed that on your first playthrough. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't give me much of a... They really did not give me much of a hint here at all. Like, the only thing in this game that I've seen that can fly... Wait! I do have the Biba that can fly. Could he maybe fly me up there? Light bulb? Question mark, question mark, question mark, profit? In before he just sends me to the god dang... Uh... He's gonna send me to Gaia's navel again. It might work though, cause like, it actually showed him on the world map and almost looked like I could pick where to go. So maybe, he can fly me over there. Okay, I know. I know. I know. Blah, 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 blah. it over here, right? I don't think we should blow the flute without the fruit. That is wise words, man. Very wise words. Can't blow the flute without the fruit. What's up, digital? Yeah, no backseating, please. Luckily, I didn't see what you said, so. No! Go north! <laughs> Darn. Hey, it was, it was, it was a good try. It was a good idea. Can you not? Okay. It's a solid attempt. thought the same thing on your playthrough I mean it makes sense they literally didn't give me any hint other than the fact that it's in the air and the Biba is the only thing that's like been in the air so it's really like the only thing I could think of yeah we met Chrono as a ghost earlier I was going to try to summon, but it's not going to happen. Actually, maybe. If I, like, waste a turn. But I still have to get up to 7, which isn't going to happen. 
especially if you keep missing. Can you not poison me right before the end of the fight? I probably won't even ask for help this time because we're about at the end of our uh, playtime for Chrono Cross anyway, so I'll probably just try to figure it out for a little longer and if I can't figure it out then we'll just do it next week and kind of like we did the, uh, the Green Dragon. I can't believe the Biba played me. He went right past the freaking. He was like, I'm gonna drop you, never mind. Go north. Go north. ask a question does the dragon shrine have anything to do with it that dragon shrine the temple no because I had an idea but I didn't want to have to walk all the way in there to check <laughs> so I'm pretty stumped. If this were a casual playthrough, I'd probably just start going to every single village. But I don't want to do that in a Let's Play. So I'll probably just ask for help. But I'm not going to ask for help today because we're almost at the end anyway. So I'll try to think about it a little more. And then if I don't figure it out, we'll just do the deed next week. Could it maybe be? There's nothing like around Terra Tower. I just realized you can use stuff on the world map. <laughs> Obviously, I just have to like yell at it and eventually it'll work. Use the explosives to explode up there or something. You guys said that El Nido Triangle is not it, right? 
Because my, I feel like El Nido might have something to do with it, but I thought earlier everyone said, like, it's not the triangle. Someone said that it was a side quest before. go here because see this is why backseating is always an issue because if people backseat then I have to take like everything as try some elements too there are some that work and some that don't huh let me save first People are always wrong about stuff, and people say stuff that later isn't correct. So, like, when people tell me, like, oh, don't go to El Nido, it's just a side quest, and I think for the whole rest of the game that it's not anything, and then it ends up being something, and then everyone's like, wow, Death, why wouldn't you check that? It's just always a problem. So, I apologize to everyone that's ever tried to backseat, like, correctly, because the people that do it incorrectly ruin it for you. But... the way it is to spin around 5,000 times and then Emerald Weapon appears. Well, there's definitely something down here now, I think, because they're talking about something. Whether or not it's where I'm supposed to go or it's just a side quest remains to be seen, but... We're about to find out. That is a spaceship. Those are giant crabs. And that's a spaceship. What in God's name have I got myself into? What is this? Another rainbow shell! I got four of them now. I gotta be close to getting all of them. But where the heck do I make it? That's the real question. The fact that there's a rainbow shell down here makes me feel like it's probably a side area. But it's a side area that looks really interesting, so we're doing it. Side stepper. Jelly. Yep, we do zero damage. This holy work. No. At least not a physical holy thing. Oh god, look at those creepy eyeballs! Ow. Well, he's water element, so I would guess that fire would be what we'd want to do. But let me try another holy thing. definitely doesn't do anything. Am 
Let's try fire. Boom. Alright, fire worked. Hey, how's it going, Chrono Trigger fan? I have a feeling that this thing was gonna like change elements or something. Either that or I just need to equip a crap ton of fire. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. That wasn't even Riddell either. Riddell's got the real magic stat. She only has one fire move though. I might have to bring Kid in here. Because she's fire element. Give him the Inferno! Holy crap, that damage. I really hope he changes element, because I don't have much fire left. Oh, he's almost dead, though. Is that all there's going to be to it? Just use fire? That was a lot less exciting than I thought it was going to be. There he goes. Waterproof fire. I guess an element level too. Yes, I'd like to enter your strange craft. It will not open. Is this Starkey's ship? We have to bring Starkey here. Oh my god, why? Why, why, why? For what reason do I have to walk all the way out just to get Starkey? Good lord. Starkey! Starkey found home. I can't even use the teleporter out here. I gotta swim all the way out like stupid looking. Look at his face. Just look at him. Look at Starkey right now. He knows. Look at that face. <laughs> oh. I love him and he's mine now. Look at him hopping around. He's also the only one that can breathe down here. He's got a suit. We're gonna die of suffocation, but at least he'll make it to his ship. Is that a Tamagotchi? Is that a real life Tamagotchi? Wow! Starkey's ship in this world not broken. Starkey, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey's ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey's ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground but still working. Yeah, it opened! Well, there you go. They, they came up with a reason. Yeah! Everything is in order. The navigation system is operational. 
Starkey's bed is nice and cozy, too. Can this take us to Terra Tower? This ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Leave it to me! The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. What is this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need to do is all we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Alright, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. Oh my god, this is actually what I was supposed to do. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. Oh yeah. See, this, this, this upsets me. This upsets me because when we got done with Chronopolis, I immediately thought to go to El Nido because they had talked about El Nido in Chronopolis. They didn't really say anything like specific about El Nido, but they did drop the name. So I thought, like, let's go to El Nido. But someone told me earlier that El Nido is nothing but a side quest. And so this whole time I was just thinking, like, don't go there until, like, we're done with everything else. And so... That's frustrating. Oh well. What are you talking about? We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it. We'll just hurry up, okay? Time to get to work. Phew. Starkey, I'm done. See? All you did was load it on the boat. Negative. Oh my god, he's upside down. <laughs> What's he doing? God dang it, Starkey. Why are you so cute? So this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this, did you, Serge? Why were we born? Why do we live? Wow, Starkey. Calm down with the exponential questions. That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. See you, pet friend. Wait. Okay. This is your this is your chance, chat, to redeem yourself. This is your chance. Can I hit yes here without like going? Like, does this take me back to the world map? Or is it like we're gone when I hit yes? Yes, I can go back. Well, does this take me to Okay. But is this going to be like a huge cutscene when I hit yes? Or can I save like right away? It takes you to the tower, but you can leave the tower. Okay, I don't want to go to the tower yet. I want to save it. Okay, where's the closest save point? Somewhere up here. Ah. Alright, I guess we have to go. Unless there's a save point in here, but I don't think there is. All right, well, if it's only 20 seconds, so we'll just do it. I was just afraid of, like, a really long, you know, crazy cutscene. Let's do it! I love how they were like, you just put it on the boat. <laughs> and he's like, no, I didn't. Oh, my God, Starkey coming in the clutch. I love that Starkey is the one that saves the saves us. Gets us to where we gotta go. Freaking Starkey. Random alien. C 
serious surge is serious, dude. I've never seen surge look so serious. He's ready to party. Looks like Moana's boat. And another thing about Moana. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it does, though. It has the same design. Yes, that's how you spell Moana. It means ocean. All right. Experiment 627. Appealing to my inner Stitch love. My inner love for Stitch. It's a great character. All right. This is the perfect time to quit. Right before the Terra Tower. I am now super excited for next week. This is a perfect uh, cliffhanger. So come back next week. Join us. We'll be doing the tower. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see you there. Thank you guys on YouTube for being here for the Let's Play. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you enjoyed the last couple episodes. And we'll see you next week for more Chrono Cross Let's Play. Peace out, everybody.